Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. 2025 is shaping up to be a defining year in space exploration, and SpaceX is about to write its most ambitious chapter yet. After seven successful Starship test flights, they're pushing the boundaries even further, planning something that's never been done before, catching a massive spacecraft from orbit. While Flight 8 is just around the corner, it's Flight 9 that has the space community buzzing. According to recent FCC filings, SpaceX has secured a launch window from March 14th to June 30th, and they're not just aiming for another routine test. This mission could mark two historic firsts, the potential reuse of Booster 14, the successful survivor of Flight 7, and more importantly, the groundbreaking attempt to catch Starship using the Mechazilla Tower. At Starbase, the signs of this upcoming milestone are everywhere. Inside Mega Bay 2, ships 34, 35, and 36 are taking shape, but it's ship 35 that's catching everyone's attention. Engineers have been spotted installing new reinforced catching points, critical hardware that could transform how we bring spacecraft back to Earth. Today, we're going to break down exactly how SpaceX plans to accomplish this incredible feat, the engineering challenges they're tackling, and what it means for the future of space travel. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, and let's dive right in. The Evolution of Ship 35, A New Era in Space Engineering The story of Ship 35 begins in the pre-dawn hours at Starbase, where engineers have been working tirelessly under the harsh Texas coast lights. The protective plate they're installing isn't just another piece of hardware. It's the culmination of years of research, countless simulations, and lessons learned from seven previous flights. This shield-like structure, with its distinctive square hole and intricate pattern of mounting points, represents SpaceX's unwavering commitment to achieving what many deemed impossible. Catching a spacecraft returning from orbit. As we examine the recent upgrades to Ship 35's catching points, we're witnessing more than just technical improvements. Each tiny hole drilled for heat shield tiles, every reinforcement added to the structure, tells the story of engineers pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The square openings that perfectly align with the catching system aren't just precise engineering. They're windows into SpaceX's future vision of rapid reusability. The road to Flight 9, building on success. The journey to this moment hasn't been straightforward. Flight 7's success with Booster 14's return sparked a revelation within SpaceX. Instead of rushing to attempt a ship catch on Flight 8, the team chose a more measured approach. This decision wasn't just about caution, it was about perfection. Every detail of Flight 9's mission has been meticulously planned, from the March 14th to June 30th launch window, to the potential historic reuse of Booster 14. Inside Mega Bay 2, the contrast between different prototypes tells its own story. Ship 34, fully assembled but lacking catching points, stands as a testament to SpaceX's rapid iteration process. Meanwhile, Ship 36's early construction stages already incorporate lessons learned from its predecessors, but it's Ship 35 that holds the key to the future, its reinforced catching system representing the next giant leap in spacecraft recovery. The anatomy of a catch, engineering at its finest. The protective plates being installed on the Ship 35 reveal the complexity of the catching system. These aren't simple metal shields, they're sophisticated components designed to withstand the extreme forces of atmospheric re-entry. The square holes correspond precisely with the catching points, creating a system that must perform flawlessly under the most demanding conditions imaginable. But the upgrades don't stop there. The decision to strengthen the system before flight, rather than waiting for post-flight adjustments, shows SpaceX's evolution in approach. This proactive enhancement suggests confidence in their simulations and calculations. The standardization of these features on Ship 36 further indicates that SpaceX isn't just building prototypes. They're establishing the foundation for routine orbital operations. The technical dance of return. The catching sequence itself is a carefully choreographed ballet of physics and engineering. After completing its orbital mission, Ship 35 will begin a journey that pushes the boundaries of aerospace technology. Unlike previous ocean landings that took roughly an hour, this full-orbit return extends the mission to nearly two hours, 
adding new layers of complexity to an already challenging operation. During re-entry, Ship 35 must endure temperatures that would melt conventional materials. Its heat shield, enhanced after lessons learned from Ship 29's Flight 4 experience, combines new heat-resistant materials with an advanced cooling system. The metallic tiles being tested for version 2 represent another leap forward in thermal protection technology. The precision of return. As Ship 35 descends through the atmosphere, its flap system, a significant improvement over version 1, will prove crucial. These control surfaces must work in perfect harmony with the three C-level Raptor engines to guide the massive vehicle back to a vertical position. The precision required is staggering. Even a slight miscalculation could mean the difference between success and failure. The Mechazilla Tower stands ready, its chopsticks poised to attempt something never before achieved in spaceflight history. The communication systems have been reinforced, learning from previous abort scenarios. Every sensor, every actuator, every component must perform its role perfectly in a synchronized dance of technology and timing. The challenge of reliability. The engine system remains a critical focus. Flight 7's anomaly with Ship 33 served as a stark reminder of the challenges ahead. SpaceX's engineers have responded by reinforcing the Raptor engine's reliability, ensuring they can handle both the demands of spaceflight and the precise requirements of landing. Each engine must perform flawlessly, as a single failure during the critical landing phase could jeopardize the entire mission. Tower B, designated for this historic attempt, represents the next generation of launch infrastructure. Its newly installed chopsticks incorporate refinements based on experience with Tower A's successful booster catches. The landing pins, rails, and actuators have been precisely calibrated to match Ship 35's catching points, creating a system that must operate with clockwork precision. The path to making history. As we approach this historic moment, each test flight adds another piece to the puzzle. The successful deployment of payloads, controlled re-entry, and landing with version 2 upgrades all build toward the ultimate goal. SpaceX's methodical approach shows their understanding that each milestone must be mastered before attempting the final challenge. A full Mechazilla catch. The heat shield system's evolution demonstrates this commitment to perfection. What began as a significant challenge during Flight 4 has transformed into a robust system capable of protecting Ship 35 during the intense conditions of orbital return. The consistent performance of the engines, despite occasional setbacks, proves that reliable propulsion for this ambitious mission is within reach. Tower B's preparation for this historic catch embodies SpaceX's forward-thinking approach. While some might see its completion as just another construction milestone, those who understand the complexity of the mission recognize it as a testament to human ingenuity. The tower's communication systems, reinforced to prevent abort scenarios like those seen in earlier flights, represent lessons learned and applied. A future within reach. The improvements in Ship 35's design aren't just technical achievements. They're stepping stones toward a future where spacecraft, returning from orbit, can be caught and readied for their next mission with unprecedented efficiency. This isn't just about proving a concept. It's about revolutionizing our approach to space travel. The heat shield tiles, catching points, and reinforced structures all tell the story of a company that refuses to accept the limitations of traditional spacecraft design. Each component has been tested, refined, and improved through a process that combines bold innovation with meticulous attention to detail. As Ship 35 takes shape in Megabay 2, it carries with it the potential to transform spaceflight. The successful integration of these new systems, from the enhanced heat shield to the precisely engineered catching points, brings us closer to a future where rapid reusability isn't just possible, but routine. Looking ahead to Flight 9, we're not just waiting for another test flight. We're standing on the brink of a new era in space exploration. The potential reuse of Booster 14 combined with the ambitious goal of catching Ship 35 represents more than just technical achievements. These milestones mark the beginning of a new chapter in humanity's journey to the stars. The story of Ship 35 and Flight 9 isn't just about engineering prowess or technical specifications. It's about human determination, 
innovation, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that seemed impossible just a few years ago. As we watch these developments unfold at Starbase, we're witnessing more than just the evolution of spacecraft technology. We're seeing the future of space exploration take shape before our eyes. As we stand on the precipice of this historic moment, Flight 9 represents more than just another test in SpaceX's ambitious program. Every reinforced catching point on Ship 35, every upgrade to Tower B, and every enhancement to the heat shield system brings us closer to achieving what was once thought impossible, the ability to catch a spacecraft returning from orbit. The journey from Flight 7's successful booster landing to the upcoming attempt to catch Ship 35 shows how far we've come, but it also hints at the incredible possibilities that lie ahead. When that first successful catch happens, it won't just be a victory for SpaceX, it will be a milestone that opens new doors for humanity's journey to the stars. As we continue to track these groundbreaking developments, your support helps us bring these incredible stories to life. If you want to stay at the forefront of SpaceX's revolutionary achievements, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Drop a catch ready in the comments below if you're as excited as we are about this historic attempt. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest in SpaceX's journey to transform space travel. Remember to like this video, share it with fellow space enthusiasts, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest developments. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. History is about to be made. Breaking Space News In a stunning turn of events on Thursday, February 20th, Elon Musk ignited a firestorm of controversy in the space community over the fate of two astronauts aboard the International Space Station. During an exclusive Fox News interview alongside President Trump, Musk dropped a bombshell claim that would send shockwaves through NASA and the international space community. At the heart of this developing story lies a complex web of allegations involving Butch and Sonny, two astronauts whose eight-day mission has stretched into nearly 300 days in space. What began as a routine ISS mission has evolved into a heated dispute between Musk, NASA officials, and even the ISS commander himself. Today we're bringing you the complete breakdown of this extraordinary situation, including explosive details from Musk's direct confrontation with ISS commander Andreas Mogensen, previously undisclosed offers of rescue missions, and claims of political interference that could reshape our understanding of America's space program. I'm your host, and this is 24-Hour Elon Musk Coverage, where we bring you the latest developments in real time. Let's dive right in. The gravity of Musk's claims became clear as the Fox News interview unfolded. Seated beside President Trump, Musk's usually composed demeanor shifted as he addressed the situation of astronauts Butch and Sonny. They got left in space, he stated firmly, 